What's going on guys? Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. It's uh, let's go kill some more aliens because that's what we do here. Let's see, we got some research coming up. Council report in eight days. We do, uh, gotta, we have to make sure that we launch the satellite before the, um, before the, the council report. Because, let's see, seven more days. <clears throat> because you get more money if you do it that way and we still have a satellite so we should be good to go. Right now we get about uh, 227 uh, is our surplus, but we're, you know, spending a bunch of money on facility maintenance, craft maintenance, stuff like that, so... Uh, yeah, if we launch another satellite, we're gonna get more money. So, let's scan. See if we've run into any more stuff. We got the alien research, which is good. Allows us to buy uh, nanofiber vests, which I believe contribute to the um, survivability of your troops. Let's go with the, the autopsy, I guess. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Oh, cops, there you go. That's the autopsy that they're working on right now. Um, let's see, we still have five more days. I think the time is here to launch a satellite. We have one in the United States. I'm thinking of going uh, with Germany. Uh, let's see, we got China. We got this. I kind of want to go. Actually, someone put it out that Australia was not a part of Asia. Um, are you joking me? I knew that. What I meant is that Australia, India, Japan, and China are all sort of considered the same thing, which is Asia, I believe. So, um, yeah, I mean, I may sound like an idiot, but I'm not. Let's see, it's gonna... Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, yeah, we should launch a... We'll hey. Contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Sh shut it. We, I think we should go with China. Should get us two engineers per month. And you get pretty good money for, for China. It's, uh, it's on par with Japan, Germany. Let's see, Russia's a lot of money, UK. United States obviously is the most because, you know, America is the greatest. Oh, I got one in Nigeria. Crap, I thought I had one in the United States, but I don't. I don't know why I even thought that. Still, I think that going with China might be the most sensible option. Or we could just go with the United States and get extra money. I have two available. That's actually good. That means I have one extra thing. I just gotta make one of those satellite uplinks before I can actually launch a third one. Uh, but I feel like going with the United States, if I do this, I'm pretty sure it will lower the panic. To report at the moment. Boards are clear. I know, I'm trying to trying to talk about something here, Central. Shut your mouth. Um, I'm thinking we got a lot of extra money, which is gonna be super useful. So I think I'm just gonna go with the United States. You know, just, just, mistakes are uh, there, so you can make them. So let's do it. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Uh, I was incorrect. No, that's absolutely awesome. So Canada is still panicking. That okay? Well, there you go. That's just. Uh, some odd transmissions lately. Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news Straker? ranting about shadow operatives. I don't know what that's about, but that might be either a reference to another game, or it could be a uh, something to do with the DLC. I don't know, because I haven't played it yet. Let's go! Here we go. We made it. Okay, oh, yep. so we got the containment facility uh, done. Autopsy and the report in one more day. That's absolutely awesome. There you go. Sign some new research. We got an uplink targeting aim available. Uh, which basically means that if you <clears throat> try to fight a UFO, one of your own jets or whatever they are, you get extra aim. <clears throat> or you can, you know, you can make that. Uh, extra me will be the uh, experimental warfare. We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Mm, yeah, okay. Where's my report? Here we go. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. 
Look up. So it's pretty good. It's a nice little overview of a report of uh, this month. See, so I get almost 600 space dollars. That's a lot of money. I got one scientist, two engineers, uh, grade A. And this is what I, what we all did. We got one council mission done. We shot a UFO. We stopped two abductions. We launched one satellite. We uh, completed six research projects, which is pretty nice. And we raided one UFO. So I basically get a bunch of money from um, my, my African... Um, pick at the start which is great I got plus 100 for Nigeria and plus 180 for America so that's a be in touch, that's Commander. a buttload of money I just received sadly you have to pay a bunch of it if you're gonna uh, let's see if you're gonna have all kinds of stuff let's launch two interceptors right there because they have to protect the satellite do we have enough soldiers you know we don't have a lot of soldiers I feel like we should hire about like four more maybe let's go at six it's a nice even number. So you got that metal, which I wasn't going to give away yet. Still no upgrades, which is fine. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We gotta make a. Oh come on! We don't have enough power. Are you kidding me? Okay. I mean that's just not very good. Um, excess lift. Crap, that's expensive. Let's just do it, because we gotta get another <clears throat> another uplink going, and before that we need more power. So. So you're gonna get a power generator. That's how much each generator supplies plus six power. But if I get a thermo generator, would be an option if I go down to the steam vent thing. Uh, crap, crap, crap. I don't even know. Is it smart just go with this right now? Just get at least some power. Let's go. Let's just do it. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering. Earth, oh my God! Please stop talking right now. Let's go. I want to shoot some aliens. I didn't sign up for this. Here we go. Nigeria, it's a small scout. Let's send the Sky Ranger in. I guess it uh, it actually crashed. Now this time around, it's going to be interesting. Let's not bring the Mac Trooper. I want to bring an Assault Ellis Palmer. Assault you shotguns. They're up close, so she will use an arc thrower. Uh, I'm bringing along that guy. Rizzo. Now let's bring along a rookie. Let's bring a uh, Young Yoon. She looks pretty trustworthy, and I can't really give anyone to any anything to anyone. So, but at least we have a nice balanced squad. We have a, su a support character who is going to be good at healing. We have a sniper. We have a rookie with a grenade. He's not, you know, he's not super special, but he might be able to get a job done. And we have a Palmer who needs to stay alive because she's got, you know, an arc thrower. And the sooner we capture an alien, the better it is. So let's just go. Let's see how well this will go. I have high hopes for this mission. Here we go. Prepare for deployment strike. Begin one. assault. Let's do it. It's gonna be in Nigeria, isn't it? Yeah, here Listen we go. Up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Okay. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Yeah, you got it. Okay then. So here we go, Operation Lazy Fall is a go. Let's do this thing. Just put that baby on the ground. Oh, that guy was Russian, totally forgot about that. It's only when there's a bunch of rookies I care about nationality, and after that I don't care anymore. Roger that, big sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with meld. extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Okay, extreme caution. Yeah, you got it. Moving to position. Let's go. Let's send this sucker in. Uh, I gotta have my sniper on the lookout. See, switch weapons. Uh, because you cannot use Overwatch with a sniper. I'm not sure if I really should be giving tips like this because obviously I'm horrible at the game. Uh, but, you know, for some reason, when I play strategy games, I just like to sort of explain whatever I do at least once, Moving so, on. you know, there you have it. Let's, uh, wait, why am I supposed, am I supposed to, like, go back there? I'm a little confused right now. Moving Set everyone to Overwatch. We will get our meld. I'm just gonna send in the rookie yeah, to extract the meld. Oh, what the hell is that? Based on its profile, let's see the aliens develop this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. 
It appears to have a sophisticated What the what? Well. No. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Yeah, no shit, doctor. Oh crap. Okay, I didn't know that was that was the thing. That's a new alien. So much for explaining stuff. Take out your sniper, sir. Let's see. Can we let's see if we can do this? I don't know if they like move away from where they disappear. Well, let's just chuck a nade over there. See what happens. My rookie. Yeah, well that didn't work. I guess they're still out there. Oh, that's not good. That's kind of ungood right there. Um What are we gonna do? We gotta get to the meld. We have three turns. Let's just um Okay, I just um that's not gonna work. Let's get behind the tree. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling that these enemies are not gonna be um they probably don't shoot you or anything like that. They're probably melee character units things. I don't really know. But uh, I'm sure that we will figure it out shortly. I think everyone's uh, ready. I hope that we get a chance. Oh boy. Oh boy. They look like the freaking alien from, uh, from Alien. Boom! There you go, you dirty xenomorph. He's twitching and stuff. Yeah, that's just really gross. There's still alien activity. Um, oh boy, what? Oh, there's, oh no. I hate these guys so much. I have a feeling that I will not be getting this meld. That's gonna be pretty tough. There's still one stealth guy sitting uh, somewhere out there. He's probably gonna attack me now. No, he did not attack me. Honestly, that makes me feel even worse. So, thanks. Uh, let's open fire this guy. There we go. Good job, rookie. Okay, next is a sniper. He's got 51. You know what? I'll take it. Okay, well, you're, you're a stupid sniper. Do your freaking job. 16. I mean, that's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Ideal at all. Let's go with run and gun. It labels you to fire even after you dash. And let's go over there. It's a pretty decent cover. Ooh, look, more meld. Okay, let's kill this sucker. Boom, there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be able to take out the, the disgusting tentacle monster, even if we uh, set this guy to Overwatch, but... Ah, screw it, I'll just send him to Overwatch. There's really nothing I can do right now. There's one thin man left. And I think he's retreating. He's probably going to, like, jump away or something, because I believe they do that. Oh, no, he just runs away. Like a little bitch. Okay, let's just... Let's stay calm. No reason to panic. Oh, crap. I can't reach it. Are you kidding me? That is just not cool. Okay, go over there. And Overwatch. Gotta make sure they're all not too huddled up. But just stay somewhat close to each other. Make sure that they have... Uh, they have the ability to shoot the freaking tentacle monster. I'm not gonna get that meld, but I'll make sure to get the other one. It, this one was just kind of too over one, over one. What? Overrun? <laughs> I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna have anyone die for it. So there you go. Let's hope that nothing happens to the sniper. He's kind of in the back. Oh, oh boy. Oh man. Got three help. Yeah, there you go. Nailed him. Good job. Oh no. We lost a meld. Well, we have four turns to get to the other meld, which Gotta is fine. And hopefully we'll be able to actually um, capture another alien, which is kind of uh, our goal in this in this thing. Uh, let's see, there's no enemies right there, which is good. I'm actually going to have this guy go overwatch. I want the assault to reload, because she's already, you know, shot a lot of, of, of ammos. Let's go overwatch. And the sniper needs to move up a little bit, I think. So let's put him into Overwatch with the pistol, and we are good to go. Oh boy, really? Three sectoids as well. This is go. This is There's nothing lazy about this mission. Seriously, it's getting a little, a uh, little out of hand here. Oh, you're okay. Don't worry. Open fire, sir. There you go. I believe that whenever you get like a cool little cutscene like that, they basically always murder the alien, which is good. 
Kill him. Come on, sniper. Don't shoot your buddy, though. Yeah, you totally... Jesus Christ, you weren't even close. I don't know what he was thinking, but... That must be embarrassing for him. Let's go. Run and gun. Let's get to the meld. Sure that... Oh, man. There's a... What's, what are these called again? Outsiders or something? Something like that. I don't remember, but... Collect. We have the meld. Everything is safe. Except for this guy. He's totally not safe. Get behind that tree. It's a pretty good cover for now. Open fire. Good job. Very good job. That's uh, like one of my first criticals, I believe. Let's see what this, this guy does. Oh, he starts shooting. Oh, bam. Okay. Well, that's definitely not good. We need to get that guy out of there. Right now. Let's go over behind that. That's some pretty decent cover, I believe. I really don't want him to die. He's got some pretty valuable experience. Uh, let's see. This doesn't look very safe, does it? Okay, just, um, this guy's a sniper, so we need to make sure that he stays pretty far away. Get behind that tree. I am sacrificing an overwatch, but... Feels like in the long run, that should be my best choice, so there you go. Quit pistol, because I don't want to kill him. If I have a choice, because I want to stun him. Also, there's another thin man left somewhere. Let's go over there. And pistol. Going to overwatch. Go! Let's see what happens. Let's see what he does. Oh, that's the thin man guy. Die, bitch. Okay, well, that's not it. That's not working at all. Oh, that's wonderful. It's not like I wanted to. Oh, what's he doing? Is he just gonna run away again? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, then we have that guy over there. Okay. Uh, he needs to reload pretty badly. There you go. Let's see, I can get the sniper. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do right now. Let's see, this thing is pretty good cover. So get in cover. Do that. That looks like the primary power oh, source of the craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Okay, thank you, doctor. Please don't tell me how to fight my fights. It's 70% chance. I'll take that chance. Boom! There you go. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. Just one alien down. Ready to be interrogated. Let's, uh... You toss a smoke grenade, which makes it harder to hit that guy. I wanted him to stay alive, so... Smoke out. I never really utilized smoke grenades, so I have a feeling that this might be a good good chance to start doing it. And then this guy, just reload your sniper rifle do nothing for now. Just hope that that freaking guy doesn't kill my assault. Wait, there's... Does someone walk around or something? I don't even know. Uh, you do nothing. Hunker down. Seriously, be careful. I need you to go over there. Is it safe? It's like it's empty in there. What the... Overwatch is the only thing I can really do right now. Siobhan. Let's go over there. Got in some better cover. Let's go Overwatch. You know, there's a, there's a chance that I'm going to kill the um, the guy that I actually want to capture, but I have a feeling there's going to be something out there. And I want to be ready for that, so... Got to make sure that everyone is sort of hunkered down or overwatching. Because uh, then I'm going to feel a lot safer. What is the... He might just be on the other side of that wall, or he... Okay, he walked around. And now he's, someone's taking a wreck shot. Oh, boy. I almost killed him. So I don't, I've never seen this before. Usually they just stick inside the ship and then That's just get, let me kill them. But you, right now this is unusual. If you ask me, Come here on, you go. Get up. healed. There you go. Uh, let's see what what this person can do. Get into cover. Really? He was an Overwatch. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Oh man, that's painful. That's kind of bad right there. I got half cover. It's 28% chance to hit. This is bad. This is a bad. Okay, just fr fuck it. Just go over there. Nothing to lose. This guy's dying anyway. Or that chick, I should say. Because this is a chick, but whatever. Um, so you want you to go over there. If he runs around, shoot him in the face with that pistol. Overwatch. 
Let's see what, what he does. He's probably gonna try to kill my assault. Which is what I would do, so I don't really blame him. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We can run over here. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah, we got him in our sights. Now, what we can do is... Let's see. If he uses the pistol, so there's a pretty good chance he's going to kill him. Do I want to take that chance? No, I do not. Let's just do the dumbest thing I've ever done. Well, you still have one more stun available, so go. What's up, bitch? You ever get stunned? Boom. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, that's not good. Oh, boy. That's really not good. Please tell me you can kill him. It was really one damage. So I could have just shot him and then... Oh, my God. No. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Heading to that location. That was so stupid. That's my assault. Heading there now. This isn't gonna work, is it? Nope. No, no. Okay, maybe he's just gonna run away. You know, let's just hope that he does. Wait, why did I not put him in cover again? He just seems kind of reckless. What? He is running away, but he's still gonna open fire, isn't he? No. Oh my god, I might just be the luckiest son of a bitch alive. Okay, let's, uh... Let's play it safe. Let's play it safe, sniper man. Going to Overwatch. You get the hell away from there, because you're going to be in trouble. This is full cover, which is perfect. Pretty sure if I toss a nade, it's not going to go in there, so let's just do nothing for now, except change to shotgun, Overwatch. We have no means to stun him anymore, which means that he is fair game. We can shoot him in the face without caring anymore. Go, 58% chance. Take the shot. Yeah, let's one more damage. Really? It would have been so easy to stun him by now. This is some bullshit. Okay. Well, nothing to do here. Wait for him to move. Now he can shoot him in the frickin' face. Or he's gonna shoot that person. Oh yeah, I got full cover, so what are you gonna do about that? You idiot. Uh, let's see. Let's get you right over there. There you go. And I want this guy, because he's the rookie, you know. Still has to prove himself, so he gets to uh, to shoot the guy. Come on, prove yourself, bitch. There you go. Another and then we get a six critical. Another successful operation. It's pretty good. We killed nine aliens. No one died, and we got only one of the two canisters. But considering what we did, we killed nine aliens. We captured this dude. I think we did pretty well, considering. Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now let's see if we get any promotions. I want to know what that new guy is. Oh yeah, corporal. We got a corporal now. That's uh, was is that the uh, that's the support. Awesome. So let's see. We can go with erection shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement or move additional tiles, which I believe in the long run is going to help us out a little bit more. So I'm going to go with that. This guy's a heavy now. That's good for you. I, I have a lot of heavies. Easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. <sighs> Impressive work indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. Okay, so um, we have new research available. The light plasma rifle UFO power source, because I got that now. We can interrogate the thin man. We can uh, perform an autopsy on a thin man. An autopsy on the Seekers. I actually got a light plasma rifle because I stunned the guy. So you take his weapon then. We have one captive, two corpses, three of those, three sectoids, lots of Illyrium, 60 alien alloys, 12 weapon fragments, 10 meld, two flight computers that are still intact, a power source, and two Seeker wrecks. We have medals available in the barracks, Commander, if you feel any soldiers merit an award. Well, I don't really know what it does anymore. Extra will. I just give it to, to some dude. You know what? Let's give it to... Uh, he already has one, so he doesn't get another one. Let's give it to... Uh, I don't want to give it to a rookie, because that seems kind of ridiculous. Mm, do I want to give it to the sniper? Right, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. I'm just going to hold on to it for now. This feels kind of uh, stupid to not do that. Sergeant. So, I guess we need the, um, the medic that I have to go up one more rank. Before he can really get a... Um, 
Before we can get a fifth person in this squad, is what I'm trying to say. Let's go mission control for a little bit. Oh yeah, new interceptors are done. Which is cool, but mostly I wanted to see the new soldiers that just came in. We got, oh my god, look at that. We got two, three Canadians. What the hell? I don't know what happened there. I hate Canadians. We got this guy. We got Christine Welsh. We got Russian. We got another Nigerian, I believe. Um, let's see. It's a Frenchy. It's an Italian. So we have a lot of Canadians now. I guess that's cool. And only one of them is Mill. Rest of them are chicks, but that's cool. Um, anything else that I can really do right now? We're almost done with the lift and the power generator. After that, I can start work. I'll see if something happens in those two days. Commander, oh, what is happening? From the council. Coming on screen. Okay. Situation room it is. The council has been monitoring unusual reports about a hijacked attempt on an unauthor un unauthorized French military convoy. Although the alleged perpetrators were human, our intel indicates the aliens may have also been in the area. If true, this raises a number of questions about the cargo being moved. We'll need a squad to investigate. Central should have our complete report moment momentarily. Uh, that sounds good. So we got a lot of bunch of money, scientist, engineer. Excellent. It would be madness to say no to this, so... To seeing your progress. Wait, let's go back to briefing. So we can, we can actually do that now, but it's probably going to take pretty long, so I'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that the XCOM videos are not getting a lot of views right now, but that's totally fine because I'm really enjoying this new thing. I am just learning new stuff like every video. I know now that there are floating octopus octopus aliens, which is really cool. Um, look at that. You can actually see the entire base. This is a pretty big place. Anyway, that's not the point. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back soon with more XCOM, and talk to you guys later.